Greetings everybody, Barry from H&W Machine Repair here. Today we are going to be talking about Beeger one-shot lube pumps. So you can see I have three of them laid out here. Um, you have the, the type, the older style, which you have the pull-up handle, which is pressurized. And if you notice, there's two different styles. You have the style that has the um, three-way coming out of it. Then you have the style that has one line coming out of it, which would then go into your Technically, it's a four-way, but one line going in and three lines coming out of it that you would have mounted to the side of your knee. And then you have the new style, which is what you would buy now, and these are on the last several years' worth, which also uses the four-way here. But today, what we're going to be talking about is refreshing the pump itself. Um, we're replacing the filter, the tank, and the cap. So let us get started. Uh, as you can see, this one's already done. This is one I did a while back. It's for demonstration purchases or pur purposes, my apologies. So we're gonna start on this tank right here. The, these two are very similar with slight differences. So first thing you're gonna do is remove the tank. Phillips head, sc Phillips head screwdriver, four screws. Now the new tank comes with a new, the new tank, four new screws, and a new um, gasket. Obviously, if you're tearing this old tank apart, I do not want you to reuse your oil. Um, dispose of it properly. All right, there we go. And so you can see this one's got all kinds of fun crap in the bottom of it. And this one isn't even one that I would consider a very dirty one. Um, if you happen to have the one with the metal tank, the plastic fits on it perfectly fine. So take that out, take our cap out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our filter. Find our spot here. Pop this thing out. Sometimes they come right out, sometimes they fight you. Go, ding, ding. Okay, as you see, you have your little ring, your little, I don't I call it the ceiling ring, and then here's your, this is kind of like the, lack of a better term, your snap ring. You have your felt washer. You have a very fine filter. And then you have a coarser one. At this point right now, what I do a lot of times is I would clean out my tank and I would fill it with solvent and I would give it a couple pumps, put a rag over the top of this, and just make sure everything is working properly and pumping out real good. Take it out, pump it a couple more times, get your lines empty. Now, the next step is to, all we're gonna do is put in a new filter after we've cleaned everything out, put it back together. But because I wanna show people how to tear one of these completely apart, we're gonna go ahead and tear it all the way down. So you see the line going here. Now sometimes, like in this one here, if you notice that line is a copper line. This one's a plastic line. It's, they come both ways. So we're gonna pop the line loose. And push it out of the way. Take our handle off. The nut off. Sometimes the nut doesn't want to come off, which isn't critical. Take our lock here off. Now this is where sometimes it's like this one's really snug. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in a vise. Put the top of it in the vise. thing's gonna catch. All right, well, we're gonna do it the other way then. We can use this kind of as our stop. Just don't wanna go super tight on this part of it. There we go. There we go. Now, this is spring-loaded. Now 
see if I can get this nut off. Oh, the whole thing wants to turn on me, of course. All right, let's pull it out. There we go, okay. Kind of a bunch of gunk in there. Take this out so we can get a hold of it to get it out properly. Normally this honestly does not come out, is not hard to get out. But we're going to be replacing this O-ring because that is the what seals it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the vise, but if you notice, I'm going to put a rag in here because I do not want this thing in any way, shape, or form to get scarred. There we go. Again, this is spring-loaded, so... Okay, so we have this apart. Now, if you wanted to take this off and blow the line out, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, it's not necessary on this one. You have your cap, your spring, your rod. You can kind of see how dirty and gooky all this is. You can unthread this if you want to. Generally, I just clean them out. Um, take it to a solvent tank and clean it all out. And that's really all that's necessary. I'm gonna get a couple of rags, clean this up a little bit. Yep, we're good. All right, everything's cleaned up. We're getting ready to go back together again. First step, put your new O-ring in. And then you're just gonna kind of slide it down in there. So you can see a good seal, I'm pushing it down. Push a little bit of residue out, which is good. Spring on. Next will be our cap. Again, this is under spring pressure, so I generally can. Unfortunately, I have arthritis in my hand, so sometimes this is a little bit painful. See how that goes on there? Of course, we have to do it with the cap. Now, obviously, when I'm redoing one, that's when I've cleaned all this up and we repaint it, painted, and everything else. But for demonstration purposes, just stick it on there. Get up in there. Started. And then what you're going to want to make sure, if you see your position, you keep your position to where when you put this back in, it's in line with that. So let's get our wrench. And this one is a one inch. Um, most of them are one inch. There, I've run into a few that are a different size. So, all right, so you have that right position. Snug it up, there we go. Next step, we're gonna reinstall our line. Three eighths inch. Put our nut back on the top of our, and all this is is for locking your handle on. That's all that this does. Handle back on. Now we're ready to put in our new filter kit. Take your filter kit out, open it up, and if you recall how we did it the first time, it goes exactly in the opposite way. I have a habit of always laying it out so that I know exactly the direction everything goes. You put your big screen in first. Main reason I think this is much more sturdy than a fine one because, you know, in my mind, the fine one will go in last, but it's for giving you support. Your fine one, your felt. You put in your metal ring with it um, where you're looking at the V kind of going down in there like that. Then last step, we put in our metal ring. 
Sometimes it's easy, sometimes not. Need a little. There we go, and it's in. There we go. So your filter is now in correctly. We're going to put our new tank on. As you see, it has the seal on it and new screws. There's a back and a front. Obviously, everyone can see that. So, slip it on there. All right, got the tank on. Obviously, at this point, you'd be putting some weight, some brand new whey oil in it. Put your new cap on. And there we go, we've now refreshed the old style pull-up pump. Now, I'm not going to go the, through the whole process of the um, push down, but I are gonna discuss a couple of differences in it. As internally down here, all basically the same thing. Um, once you get the handle off. The handle, if you look in here, there's a small snap ring right here, which you pop it out, pull the handle out, off. I'll do it real quick. Just try not to lose the snap ring. It's kind of finicky. Pop your pin out. Take the handle off. And at that point, it's basically the same procedure. Okay, once you have your top off, your um, handle off, you will put this in and you will get the, take this free. And it's under pressure. And sometimes they're extremely tight. But once you take that off, then it's exactly as we did on the first pump. Follow those procedures exactly, then put it back together. You know, obviously you put your handle back in, get your pin back in and then put it all back together. And that's how you do the modern version of the pump. Um, so that's how we do a, a complete a rebuild of a Beezer pump. Um, while you have it apart, you know, look at your cylinder rod and everything, but I've honestly never run into one that was all, that was so bad that it, the O-ring didn't fix it. So we have the kits. We have the first kit that I showed you that comes with the tank, the filter, the cap and the O-ring. And then we also have another kit that if you're doing the entire system, it comes with the tank, the filter, the O-ring, the cap, all your meters, um, 20 feet of hose, and then the ferrules and bushings that you need if you just decide you're gonna redo, replumb your entire system. So, um, thank you for watching our video today. I appreciate it and please subscribe and hit the bell notification button and you guys all have a great day.